Hi guys. Okay. Today we are going to be doing an empties video. I'm very proud of myself because I've been doing empties videos a lot recently and I've been going through products like crazy. I am so proud of myself. But let's talk about what's on my lips. So what I'm wearing is a Ciate London Glitter Flip in the shade Infamous. It looks like this. I'm loving this color. And it's got like the glitter. The more you look, go like that, the more glitter. I love it. But let's grab my giant basket and get started. I got my coffee. Okay, so the first two things I have are wipes. The first one is the Collagen Makeup Remover Wipes by Risqué Beauté. There was 60 wipes in here. They look like this. I got these from TJ Maxx. Now, what I liked about these is, yes, they did remove all my makeup, but they're really thick. So I only needed, I needed less than I would normally to remove my makeup. And they were like really thick and damp. I loved them. I definitely will look for more of these. I'm probably gonna figure out where I can buy these other than TJ Maxx or Ross, cause that's I think where I got them, Ross. Because I wanna see if maybe Amazon sells them or something, cause I really did like those. I'm out of breath, I just ran up the stairs. I went to check my mail and so I'm waiting on a package, it's a Jeffree Star package, and which the video should be up before this one so if you haven't seen it go check it out it's the new concealer and powder line and i'm waiting on it and it's not here yet and i'm freaking out because it's supposed to be here and i am impatient and then the next thing is this daily concept daily detox massaging brush um this is not, not gone it's in my shower but i just want to show you it's this like um little body sponge brush it's a dry brush and you're supposed to use it to exfoliate this is in the vigorous one so it's like the extra rough one this thing is great i use it with my body wash and i'll just like scrub it and if you're not careful it will leave your skin really red so you do have to be really careful but i love it um the next thing i have is another thing of wipes these are baby wipes my cellar water there was 80 in here and i use these to remove swatches um lips just stuff like that i love them and they're cheap i have a couple of face masks i have two yes two face masks. I have yes to carrots and yes to tomatoes. They both look like this. They're both sheet masks. I love the yes to brand. It's my absolute favorite. This one was a charcoal paper mask, which was really, really nice. It was for clear skin. It worked great. Like I noticed a difference. I used this one last night. It's the yes to carrots nutrition boosting for depleted skin. It was again, another paper mask. I liked it. it I didn't really notice too much, but I didn't notice my skin just felt really hydrated and like plumped like moisturized it was nice the next one is a nature recipe honey nutrition and smooth complexion secret key mask this was really great i i like honey masks because one they smell nice and two they just give my skin a really nice glow and look very hydrated and healthy i loved it and then i have the olay daily facials daily hydrating clean uh grapeseed extract five in one cleansing cleansing power of a makeup remover scrub toner mask and cleanser this was a cloth so what it was is it was a cloth in here you removed it you got it wet and you cleaned your face with it i love this i honestly would look into getting these i don't know i would really want to see like how much it costs for a pack of these how many come in a pack so like how many washes you could get and then compare that to a facial cleanser and see you know how much it is how much it is per ounce and like compare to see which one's more cost effective so i mean i would look into getting these they were nice and then i have a hair mask this is the Tresemme um sulfate free system Bo botanique color vibrance and shine intensive mask i loved this i used this uh midweek between I used this like midweek so I washed my hair and then I threw this in and I loved this my hair felt so shiny and just really healthy and nice and it's gotten me to use uh hair masks a lot more I would definitely look into purchasing the full size of that the next hair product is dry shampoo this is the Hask charcoal with citrus long lasting oil absorption free of sulfate and parabens purifying dry shampoo the Hask brand of dry shampoo is one of my favorite. I have three favorite dry shampoos. It would be the Not Your Mother's, the Hask one, and the Batiste. Those are my three favorite. Definitely love this stuff. And I loved the charcoal one. I just felt like it didn't leave, like it didn't leave a white cast. It didn't leave my hair feeling gross or weird or anything. Like I had stuff in it. It was really, really nice. 
Um, the next thing is the Miss Myers Clean Day Room Refresher. Room Freshener. I love this stuff. I love any of the Miss Myers stuff. I have mine in the scent Honeysuckle. Oh my gosh. I have, um, hand soap and dish soap in this scent too. Oh my gosh. It's so nice. I love any of the Miss Myers stuff. It's just amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out, I definitely highly recommend it. I get mine from Grove Collaboration because a lot of times they'll have deals and you'll get stuff for free or like free sample or um like gift with purchases. I love it. Um, the next thing I have is just my cotton pads. These are the basic cotton rounds from Target. There's a hundred of them. I like these. I actually have a few left, so I'm just gonna pull it out. These are what they look like. They're very very thick, like thicker than a normal cotton round. I love them. So I only use two. I use one for my toner, one for my micellar water. Love them. Um, the next thing, which I did not like, didn't, oh my gosh, like, you guys, it was bad. This is Nair Hair Remover Lotion with Softening Baby Oil. My skin, I had an allergic reaction to this. I had, my skin had such a bad allergic, allergic reaction to this. I tried to use it again and again, just like, obviously not in the same day, but like over and over again to see if maybe I was doing it wrong or if it was just like how I did it or something and there's still some in here it's like this much full still but I just can't finish it and my skin was bad I broke out in like bumps and it was so itchy and burned I couldn't do it that is going in the trash the next thing is this pearlescence aloe and charcoal facial cleanser I love this stuff it's in a glass bottle um Okay, well, I shouldn't say I loved it because it was nice, but I feel like I do so much of it. You get a lot too. You get four fluid ounces, but I feel like I use like four or six, four to six pumps just to get my face and neck because it doesn't lather. So I feel like I use more when products don't lather. I don't know. I would repurchase it, but I do have quite a few to go through before this one. So I'm not sure. Okay, the next product is another hair product. This is R & Co Acid Wash. Um... I was scared to use this because it just, the acid wash kind of scares me, but it's like a very, what's the word I'm looking for? It's going to like strip all the gunk out of your hair. So any dry shampoo, any just product you have in your hair, it's going to strip it out. And I loved it. I seriously, this stuff is so expensive. So I want something similar to it. I won't repurchase this because I can't justify spending the price, but I would definitely look into something similar to this. Um, the next product is the Seattle London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I've used one of these before. This is just a mini sample. It was okay. Nothing to write home about. Um, it's just a tra uh, white. It's a translucent powder. It's a white, stark white powder. So it's gonna leave a flashback. It's slightly under eyes. It wasn't dry. It wasn't anything like that. It was nice. It just wasn't amazing. And it's gonna give you flashbacks. So, I mean, it was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it, but if I get it again, I get it again. The next thing is by L'Oreal Paris. It is the Pure Clay Cleanser. I have mixed feelings about this. So, this stuff was nice. You only needed it a little bit. I, at first time I used it, because I was so used to using the um, pearlescent one, and I needed like four to six pumps of that. So I used like a quarter sized amount of this the first time. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. It, this stuff foams up like crazy. And it just, it was so much. I used way too much the first time. And so when I used it again, I used like a dime size amount, like a pea size amount. And it was okay. I honestly think though, this is what broke my skin out, but I'm not 100% sure. So honestly, I would look into purchasing this, purchasing this again, but I'm not sure if it broke me out or not. I mean, this is the only new thing I was using, but my skin just randomly breaks out sometimes. So I'm not sure what it was. Um, the next thing we have is by Garnier. It's the Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. It was nice. I like it. Micellar water. Personally, I prefer my NYX one over this, but it did the job. It was great. I have another hair product. This is the... Moroccan oil dry texture spray. I love texture sprays. I know this is pretty pricey, so I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this one, but it was nice. It did the job. It gave my, like I have really flat hair, so I just use it like right up in here and up in here and then on this side over here. And it gave my hair some texture, but it wasn't anything crazy. It was nice. I liked it. Um, The next two few things are makeup products and then we'll move back into skincare. The first thing is the strawberry peppermint 
K Voss uh, lip balm. You guys, I'm so proud of myself for using this up. I've used this consistently for months. And I love this stuff. It was really, really nice. It's uh, like a light pink, nothing will come out because it's completely empty, lip balm. And it was great. I would definitely repurchase this, but currently I have like 10 million lip balms to go through. So, yeah. Uh, the next thing I have is by H2O Beauty. It is the Infinity Chin and Neck Primer. I don't see a purpose in this. Why? I can easily just bring whatever primer I'm using down on my neck. Why make a whole? This is really expensive for a whole size. Like, really, really expensive. Why? I don't see a purpose in it. The next one is my Maybelline New York Master Prime Primer and Base Blur and Smooth Primer. I like this. It was nice. I want to try a different one from this line, though, because I feel like my skin's not... I don't want to say reacting the way it used to to do this. I, I love this stuff. It's still great. But I just want to give another one a try because I'm kind of over this one, if that makes sense. Like, I love the product. I'm just over it. So, And then the last two are mask... The last two makeup products are mascaras. I have the Essence Lash Princess. Love, love, love this stuff. My number one mascara. Highly, highly recommend. Definitely will be repurchasing this. I have quite a few mascaras to go through, go through currently, but I definitely will be purchasing this. It's like $5 or under. I love this stuff. The next one is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I have mine in waterproof, and for that reason alone, I wouldn't repurchase the waterproof one. I will definitely repurchase a regular one, but I don't like the waterproof version. I don't like waterproof mascara whatsoever. Um, I do like this mascara. It's great. It's a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's like six bucks, maybe seven, and I definitely would repurchase this. I just don't want the waterproof version ever again. Uh, the next few products. This is by Lancome. It's the Hydra Zen Gel Cream Anti-Stress uh moisturizer i love this stuff it was great it's a small sample so i only used it maybe three times but it's it was nice when i used it and my skin reacted nicely to it i it's expensive so i don't know if i would ever repurchase it but it was nice the next two are by bioderma i have the serum and the moisturizer they were okay nothing amazing like they were so such a small sample that i didn't really see any difference so and then the next few products I may or may not have done myself dirty with. This is the Origin Super Spot Remover. You guys, I'm so sad I'm out of this. This was a small sample and it lasted me months, like six months or more. And this is an acne treatment. So it's just, oh, I took the little stopper out, but it's got like a little stopper in here that just allows you to squeeze a little bit out and you just dot it on your acne. And then it creates like a film over it to help draw stuff out. It's amazing. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this like ASAP and I'm very sad it's gone. I love this stuff and I've tried other ones like other spot removers since I've been out of this and they don't compare. The next two products I may or may not have done myself dirty with. I use these in conjunction of one another. So I have a serum and a moisturizer. I have two samples of the serum but the moisturizer is the Belief the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I loved this stuff. Definitely want to repurchase it. It's amazing like and especially in conjunction with this it was like my skin was in heaven the two weeks i used this like oh my gosh this i've done myself dirty with and i'm very sad this is the caudal caudal uh vinyl perfect serum radiant serum complexion corrector you guys this full size is 79 dollars yeah and my skin loves it I, using these together, my skin was great. Like, I had no breaks out, breakouts, no anything. Like, my skin was in heaven. Gave the perfect radiance. It was moisturized. It was, it was perfect. For the two weeks I used these, my skin was perfect. I can't pay $79 for this, though. I just, I can't physically do it. I can't justify spending $79 on something I use two times a day. That's going to be gone quickly. Because this was a 10 or a 0.33 fluid. These, I had just under an ounce and I used these so quickly. That is it. That is the last of my empties. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. Let me know if Nair does that to your skin too. Because I, it was terrible. I cannot use anything like that ever again. Let me know your guys' favorite dry shampoo down below. I'd love to know. I love recommendations. I'm kind of stuck on my favorite three. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.